All right, Mr. Kenor here, and today we're gonna to be making a moving satellite, but we're gonna convert it into a moving solar panel that can track the sun. So we're basically going into classroom projects and building the um, moving satellite model, except we are eventually going to stop when we get to the satellite part, and we're gonna modify it to be uh, what sort of resembles a uh, solar panel. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of be building. I'm going to move a little quickly just because you guys can find the building instructions for this and you've probably already made this one before. So we're just going to go ahead and go quickly as we move through and build our moving satellite. I'm going to add in these nice pieces of those swivels. Um, we add these. If you are following directions, then we are going to stop at number eight in our building directions. So this is the building directions for the moving satellite. Actually, I'm sorry, not eight. We're going to go here. We do number nine, uh, but then number 10 is going to be different. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in the wheel. So we're going to push in the axle, we're just going to add in the wheel like we normally would do for the moving satellite, except now our attachment is going to be different. So we want to have a uh, solar panel that tracks the sun. So the way that we're going to do this is we are going to have our motion sensor, which is this guy that has the uh, motion detectors. We're going to go ahead and plug him in just before it gets too much harder to, to keep moving on. And then what we're going to do, let's go ahead and snap him into place, is as my hand moves in front, that's going to simulate the sun. And as I move my hand away, it's going to move to follow my hand. Now, it's not actually following my hand. What we're going to do is we're going to program it as I move to then move in the direction that the sun would be traveling in increments. So as it picks it up and then I move it, it will do that. To simulate a solar panel, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use these Technic brick pieces. Obviously, solar panels are darker to attract sunlight, but we don't have any uh, flat black pieces. So this is just gonna act as my makeshift solar panel right here. Okay, so the building is now complete. And what we want to do is we want to program it. So what I've done is I've kind of written a program where we have a loop. Now here's the program. So we have this loop. And what it's going to do is when I start my loop, it's going to display the color purple. Just showing I'm waiting. I don't see anything yet. As soon as I move my hand in front, simulating like the sun coming into view, then it's going to change to yellow. All right, that would be the time when the solar panel is processing, gathering energy. As I move my hand away and it realizes there's nothing there anymore, then it changes the color to red. It plays the sound saying, oops, there's no more sun. And then it moves a very slow speed. And I did 0 0.2 seconds. So you have the decimal point right here. We could even make it like 0 0.1 seconds. But um, if it's too much, then the whole thing just does a complete circle. And really what we're trying to do is follow the sun on the moon over a 14 day period. So really this thing would be moving super, super slow as it tracks the sun. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my brick and then let's go ahead and run the program. So the sun's gonna um, rise up over here. So um, it rises in the east, sets in the west, so I'm gonna be my little sun. So I hit play on my program, and it's right here. It's showing purple because it's waiting to see something. As soon as the sun comes into view, look at that. So I change to yellow, and this is where it's gathering energy, it's converting um, the heat from the sun, so those infrared and ultraviolet rays and all that heat that the sun produces, it's, it's converting that into electricity. And then as I move my hand away, notice how it changed color to red, 
played the sound and then drove away. And then as it acquires the sun again, it changes to yellow as the sun moves across the sky. It changes to red and it just keeps going with this process of tracking my hand over and over. Now I could take my hand out here, move it close and then out and it will do the same thing. But this would be one way that we would want to track the sun. Maybe at the end of our loop, maybe after four or five times, uh, we could have it reset all the way back to the beginning. So we could do some things to simulate where, you know, it's now nighttime. We don't need to track the sun at night. Really, we would want to be ready to track the sun again when it comes up over the horizon 14 days later. Remember, a lunar day is 14 Earth days. All right, well, I hope you were successful building this, and I hope you were successful with the uh, programming of this using the motion sensor. All right, hope you had a good time.